Audio is not working. Great. Why, why is Discord not captured? I'm trying to sing something. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hello, hello. Hi. Raul Gaming. Can you, can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? Hi. Hello. Guys, I'm just a voice in Raul's head. I don't exist. Hehehe. <laughs> 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 Also, I can still hear music from your computer. Oh. Wait. Hey. Only from yours, I'm not, not from the stream though. Okay, yeah, I, I work, my voice works. By the way, guys, tell me if my voice clips. This is Rafi's stream, yeah, hell yeah, that's, that's mine. I'm the captain now. <laughs> um... Yeah, you should, we should just like a ghost today. <laughs> totally not next time unexpected. You should, you, next uh, time you should try wearing like a green shirt, to be honest. A green shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Only uh, hands and face. Yeah. Oh. It's pretty awesome. Thank you. Yes. What? There. Why is the I am gone. <laughs> there. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Thank you, thank you. Great. Oh. Um. One eye. Microphone doesn't work. Oh, there yeah. we go. Microphone yeah. now works. Also, I'm way too big. That's small. There we go. Hi. Hey everyone. I'm here. Hello. They I agree. am as well. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm managing so many things in the background right now in case that no. Well, you guys do know. <laughs> in, a, in a sense. Uh, okay. Uh, put music back here. And do, do you hear it? Do you hear it? Do you hear the music? I do. From the stream or from it's, like. Uh, the stream microphone? is on. Okay. Only from the stream. Only from the stream. Good. That's intentional. No, from both. From from the stream. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's perfect. capturing. It's right. It's correct. It's correct. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Yeah, it's capturing, but I I muted the the call. Okay. All right, guys. Today we're putting fetch in a solitary confinement room. <laughs> <laughs> Secured and protected. <laughs> Exactly. They are now an SCP. Including... <laughs> yeah, no. We are continuing Corpus Lab over here. Uh, and today we're going to do texturing. We're going to give 
color to this blank lifeless room. Guys, do you know how much of a flashbang this room is? Like if I go and set the shading to flat, that's how much of a flashbang it is. That that is eye blinding. Wow. Turn it off light. There you go. It looks like Fetch is now trapped in what do you call this? Uh you know in SpongeBob where Squidward just goes alone. <laughs> 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 that one. Hey, Daniel. <laughs> hey, Storm. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're giving color to this room. Oh, this is clearly like that scene from the Matrix. <laughs> He's about to get his own arsenal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with with the, the things coming out of from the wall. Uh, the, the famous the scene from Contrabad for Day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, it would Let's be funny if instead of citing the source, you just cite like the, the imitation. But instead of instead of citing like uh, James Bond, you cite you no know, Dex. <laughs> Dex. <laughs> like oh yeah, the, the girl like from Jax. Like yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, cool. So of today course, like the bike slide from not Akira. <laughs> from not Akira. But very specifically I, from I this don't... other movie. <laughs> I don't know, there's too many movies and then I, I get to pick one. <laughs> okay, Jack's so... mansion. Daniel. <laughs> I think we need a 512 by 512. Uh texture. 512 by 512. Hold on. Yes. Yes. Maybe... You know, to be safe, I'm going to make 1024 by 1024. So we have four sections we could use the thing for. And if we look over our reference, that's going to be very interesting over here. I got my tablet today, guys. So I'm going to be drawing stuff. Okay. Oh. You guys can see me draw textures. And first of all, we're going to make this polka dot in the background. So we're gonna what do. What do that. you mean you're not modeling that? Modeling every single circle in the surface. <laughs> <laughs> Death. All right. And I, I want it to be it. like um, equally dense in polygon. Inside and outside dot. I my, wanted to tessellate it. My heart is dying. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so oh, now we got all this. I'm gonna set a brush. We even need to set a brush. We need set a single circle as a reference. Oh. I need to use my smooth, my, my, my solid brush. Because if you guys don't know, I use a brush, a dedicated, like I I made my own brush very specifically for sketching. If I look over here, that's a sketch brush. And I made this myself and I am very proud of it. It's, it looks like the pencil that I use actually for IRL uh, sketching. So that's a fun fact for you guys. Uh, However, this is the one we're going to use for textures because it's a solid, solid, solid like solid snake. <laughs> Imagine I will be to be like, okay, no, a snake. So our snakes solid, like tangible, tangible snakes. Once you see in real life, huh? Are they solid? Are they solid? I mean, like, in terms are, of matter, they are. They, they don't, they don't melt. Are they solid or liquid or or noodle? I think they're noodle. Yeah, I think I think as well. Link, <laughs> Link is snake. I need. I need to actually copy the reference on this. <laughs> This canvas, or canvas thing. There we go. Mm. 
make sure one of the smaller verts has 10k verts, like a high level CAD print model. So a toothbrush at one one table. Got it. The toothbrush is <laughs> never like it's like a mainstay of our streams. <laughs> the, the, the Yandere Dev toothbrush. <laughs> God, it's like there's one way to kill a GPU is by giving more than one, more than three vertices per pixel. That's how you kill it. And that's the reason why you don't see games with super high poly even nowadays. Mm -hmm. Much. We preview the text. You move stuff around. It's, it's kind of shocking that from like. Right now, compared to early PS4 era, the poly count didn't change in games. Per model, I mean. The amount of models absolutely changed, but like, per model, it didn't. Mm. I think after the PS3 era. Yeah, I'd say like, from The Last of Us onwards, we didn't really see big changes in terms of poly count. Yeah. More like, you can't have infinite LODs if you got like, Half a, half a gigabyte of RAM. But then I suppose that eventually they just defaulted to lower all the accounts. Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> oh. Triple A. And reminded of fashion brands. There we go. Now we need to just tilt this. Oh! That is not how tilting works. Don't worry, we'll fix this, guys. You're tilting a, a ball shape here? No, I'm tilting the entire canvas, actually. Okay. It's not just the ball shape. The entire canvas. I need to move this up. There we go. So that we get this angle right here, right? And that's like 45 degrees. Hey, is that pivot point right there? Actually... Why is that being selected on top there? Mm, extra, yeah, that's an extra. Ooh. <laughs> Illusions! Reject modernity. Go back to PS1. I am getting confused by my own by my own doing. <laughs> hmm. Also, in the meantime, I'm I'm a little silent because I'm I'm actually checking uh, business stuff. Uh, I'm I'm going to this year for the first time. I'm going to Gamescom, so I'm I, I took like this personal task task of checking every single company presentation. Uh, which means checking over a thousand companies. Yep. It's fun, uh, as well. It's fun? <laughs> Is it? Ima it imagine me, like, using, using our own stream as, like, my comfort stream <laughs> while I work. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it would work, right? It, it would. Also, I, I, well? I found that there's a company called Owo. <laughs> yeah. If they don't know. I believe they do like VR stuff, right? Yeah, they do VR stuff, yes. <laughs> there, there's also so Owo at the museum. <laughs> what? There, there's also Owo the museum. Owo Museum! 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> that's the name of city though. That's the name of a city in Nigeria. Okay. But the Obo Museum is quite the name. Alright, there it goes. We have now a five twelve by five twelve. Maybe this company new. This company knows because they are doing VR. They pretend they don't know. <laughs> they pretend that they don't know. It's like us pretending the team doesn't have furries while making a game about a pink ferret. <laughs> I mean, I got a bunch of people saying, hey, you know that by making this cute pink ferret, you might attract furries? And like, yeah, no shit. Like, half of my three quarters of my fan base is furries. <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that, whole, that was the whole point. <laughs> okay, not the whole point. I, mean, I didn't know when I was 15, but I definitely know as a 23 years, years old guy. <laughs> Now we're just making the color palette, basically. Oh. I am nice. foolish. <laughs> Imagine if the artist like put a very, very subtle uh, gradient. Very you know, subtle as gradient. You try to colors. <laughs> uh, I have like Paul's mustache there. The side of the box is there. Uh, pretty much that, and maybe the the. But oh, this is perfect for me drawing, me drawing uh thing. Should probably put this in the top left corner so I could easily access this. This on the side over here. Make sure that's aligned. So, paste this and move this on the top and make this a little bit bigger. Make it a, not a 4x4, four four, a 8x8. Eight eight. One, two, three, four. That's the size that we want. Now let's just copy this. I'm going to work smart by actually, yeah, by actually duplicating every tile square. Right. One, two, three, four. Is that not eight by eight? Huh? Fail. Okay, so that's three, four, five, six, that's five, four, eight, eight. Okay, I'm gonna do something, All right? So I'm just take the color, color this way if I press. Oh, exact exact same square. Oh, work smart, not hard. <laughs> now, German drink company that produces drink, a drink called Uhu. <laughs> and I'd be pretty sure, like when they named that, no one expected that that would be like a popular word in the future. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just find it really funny. It's from a completely different culture too. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why. Mm -hmm. Oh, tin! I see the tin that that you think are crackers, but us always sewing materials. Do you guys have this like tin box? Okay. Do you guys have this tin box that you know it's not actually a tin of crackers, but it's 
sewing machine materials. Right, sewing materials in general. They have they have that kind of culture. No. No, oh, I sorry, I didn't understand what is that. So, so okay, so like uh this this cracker but cracker tin, right? Where it's usually cookies in there or crackers, right? Okay. But then as a kid, when you checked in one of those, you think it was be crackers, but it's just sewing materials. Yeah, just sewing. Absolutely that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I expect find you know fabric and needles in there. <laughs> That was like my childhood. Though the fun thing is like shaking it, you know? Oh yeah. Just hear the sound like, yep, that's that's not food. Yeah, today is gonna be a short stream today. I don't know if uh, you guys saw it in the announcements and such. Today is gonna be a short stream today, and it's only and the only reason why we're having a short stream today is that uh, yeah, this week was a very long week for all of us. So we're taking we're actually taking important the break to take a break it's, it's always dangerous to yeah you don't you don't get the best quality if like you're always ep and always uh what you might call this uh, you're not sane there you go in color it's that Mental health is important, along as, as well as uh, the work here. So, you know, we're all human. If if you want, if you want a nice quality game, then you always have to you know, take a break. And always important, need to have a way to recover and you know, not burn out. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think like one of the biggest mistakes they could do with developing something or doing any work at all is that you burn out, right? Because then you won't be, you, you'd be doing everything the most lazy way possible, be inspired, you're, you're doing the opposite of being motivated of work. Uh, that's why I appreciate like some game studios who actually uh, take care of their employees. You know, um, like 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 Roll here is very good at that. Um, but yeah, like uh, if you've heard like Pirate Software and what happened with Blizzard, uh, essentially that was like. One of the moments that happened with me with Dice as well. Um, you know, you, you know what happens to a very motivated person, and you immediately put them on crunch time without any break. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how that, that looks like. Like, I can tell you how it no, feels. I, I, I just have no idea. I, I can tell you how it feels. It's like trying to fight against every everything in your power to fight against uh like, like your body says no you should be resting so does your mind it says like no you should be resting you're incredibly exhausted but you're fighting against it right you're fighting against trying uh like because you want things done right and your boss wants yeah. things done. But your body cannot take it anymore, nor your mind can't take it anymore. 
So it's like you're the the big the big um how do I describe this? It's not even a desire, it's a need. Uh, it's a need to not work at all. Otherwise, it would collapse. And you're fighting against that so you could have a finished project because of crunch. So. Honestly, like, like it probably already told you, yeah, yeah, I've, I've gotten in situations like that. But there was nobody above me. That's like the most important thing. Otherwise, yeah, I would be able to basically heal myself just because I'm working without realizing it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I mean it in a literal sense because, again, I've, I've gotten, uh, I've hurt myself by mistake by overdoing something. Mm -hmm. I mean, like for most, so, for most uh, companies, right? Uh, or, or rather in the working world, they always expect you to be. condition right they don't expect you to get sick or anything what happens is that like procedures kind of fall apart without uh, procedures and companies and all of that fall apart simply because they neglect the fact that people are human <laughs> you know yeah uh, yeah honestly Unless it's like the, I mean, you you know it you know it personally, but the way I work always assumes that if I was to ever become like a proper company that can employ people full time, I mm -hmm. will just never employ people full time. Yeah, <laughs> I will just but at least aim to have everyone working part time. It's either part time because... or like just within the schedule. You don't expect them to work outside of the schedule, right? No, it's more like by working part time, it makes sense to expect high efficiency. You know, like yeah, it's those four hours of high efficiency, and that's it. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> and then also, you know, of course, that also means paying as much as full time mm. in the process. But it's a thing that, of course, if whenever I say it out loud to other people who have businesses. Uh, they have opinions on that. They might agree, they might not. But there, there is some evidence that this approach works. But systematically, like, the, a whole team works, I don't know, 20 hours a week. Not something I've seen yet. It's actually not in game dev. Game dev is, like, working the opposite way, you know, where a lot of people are working too much. Mm -hmm. I'm really curious because... Whenever I work with artists, I can tell that they work a lot better. The, le the, le the less hours they work per week, the better they work. Because, you know, they, they need to come up with stuff, you know? It's not like a programmer who's just told the thing, and the worst that can happen is that their code is not optimized. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Actually, no. Actually, no, I'm, no, I'm wrong. They, they, they make me errors. <laughs> Yeah, if you brush a programmer, they're gonna make a system that's not expandable. And, and also, like, they will make a lot more errors and figure... Mm -hmm. uh, also, the fact that they will figure things a lot less. Right? If you're, if yeah, you're running... Right. Imagine a programmer that runs being tired all the time. Right? They're not thinking straight uh, yeah. and... Yeah. You don't, yeah, you there's don't basically that. no role in game dev that can work. But that can work as good if you do it on a rush. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not design, because design takes time. You need to have the time to realize your idea is bad. Yep. And also a consideration I... of things as well. Mm -hmm. You know I'm overzealous on this. Like, I always feel like every single idea needs to like stay in the fridge for a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I can go back to it and see if it's still good. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's a it's a piece of work when I'm when I'm not rushing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can remember, like for instance, with the uh, with the Ritamara stuff on Fetch. At one point, I was convinced that making lanes in the Ritamaras was the best choice. 
Then I made it, and I realized that felt worse than not having lanes. <laughs> because playing a whole game where you can just move freely and then suddenly being removed that freedom felt very limiting. It would make sense if like, I wasn't controlling Fetch, but I was like controlling an arcade thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vada, for your message. <laughs> what did they say? Game that's tend to be trans, <laughs> so I doubt any of them think straight. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> can, can confirm. Not personally, but can confirm from lots of friends. Especially programmers. Indeed. Legit, the best programmer I've met. Like, the, the most impressive programmer I know is... So, so, you mean to say that it's a requirement to have programmer socks? Yes. <laughs> but no, I, actually, it, it's more fun because I met her before she was trans. And so, there's like a, it feels like a direct correlation. As, they were, as she was finishing university, uh, she came out as trans. And that's also <laughs> when she started to get bigger bounties for, you know, uh, hacking. <laughs> So if you do not get the, the programmer socks, you cannot get the bounties. Easy as that. <laughs> By the way, those, and this those one, socks is actually top. pretty comfy. They look Very cute ideal. as well. They're both cute okay, and functional. Would I ever <laughs> wear one? I never, re I never legitimately thought about wearing one. I guess it depends on the style that you have, you know? Like, yeah, if it's, it's, it, if it's, okay, no, not the programmer socks, but like, full black long socks, that cool... Full black long socks? That, yeah, that could work. Full black long socks. Programmer socks, that would work on mine. Because uh, I never, you know, you know that I don't wear shorts, thing. and you, you saw me at the beach. You, you saw why I don't wear shorts. Yeah. <laughs> my yeah. legs break my character design. <laughs> But with socks, covering up until the knee, especially the knee. And then yeah, I have shorts, work. like white shorts. Huh. That could work. For me, I just that need, if, if I go for a programmer socks, I need to pair it with like a, maybe white shorts and a white sweater. And that could work. And then I think I would wear Vans specifically. I think that sort of uh, shoes will Vans? fit the outfit. Okay. Vans, yeah. I could see like, it, yeah. um, I, I, like, you need to have the socks, the pants, and the shorts to match. It's like, either like, so, so, like it's, I don't know, dark blue and white, uh, black and white, uh, something like that, you know? Hmm. I, I'm saving this idea to the day I get to a situation like that, which is probably never. But, you know. Hey, it's useful to have in the background. <laughs> People may not realize that I, I just, really I just have need to meet more people. I need to meet more people who have exactly my same body. <laughs> I used to. And then COVID happened. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Did they disappear after COVID? Like, did they? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm working towards getting back to a lean body again. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I recently <laughs> got. A treadmill, um, thanks to... We're still, my, like, yeah. we're still like, pretty different in height. Like, yeah, yeah we, we were the same size as Porta, but... Maybe trousers wouldn't work, you know? Because of, like, yeah, length. Yeah, I'm, I'm more rounded than you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it'll work. You're higher poly! I'm higher poly! <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks to my supporters, though, I actually got a treadmill and... Uh, exercise bike that's been helping tremendously uh i also replaced Thank my you. usual walking shoes with actual walking shoes now um <laughs> my old my old walking shoes was breaking up um the one i brought at singapore was not walking shoes but it's the only shoes i had available at the time okay yeah <laughs> makes sense also this reminds me that at this point i legitimately fear meeting people 
Because I, I like the person I'm meeting next week, I'm telling her like, please make sure you can walk 10 kilometers. <laughs> like, please. <laughs> I don't want to make you suffer. <laughs> It's happened several times with multiple friends. <laughs> hey. Okay, I have a reason. I couldn't walk 10 you kilometers. <laughs> The others didn't. The others didn't like. I just, I guess, forgot to tell them that I really, really like walking. And I mean it. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I'm gonna walk a bit. Oh, that's pro no problem. Like, you were gonna like, walk a lot. No, that's not a problem. Then they suffer the second <laughs> half of the day. Give, give me good walking shoes. I would walk then go up. Actually, oh, no. in fact, I made a little friend group. Uh, yeah, whenever, uh, I... Daniel! Yeah. <laughs> Daniel, did, did they make you suffer as well? I forget. I forgot. <laughs> Vada was a good stand -up. like Vada, I always say like Vada is like perfect person to meet. Because <laughs> he loves walking as well. If you give me like good walking shoes, like my old walking shoes, it's really good at that for that. Then I could walk forever. Uh Also, if I if I have a water bottle with me, that's very important. But, um, yeah, when we when I was walking in Singapore with Raul, oh my god, the the, <laughs> the shoes that my sister gave me was basketball shoes. <laughs> they 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 really hurt my soles. Oh, but by oh. the way, uh, Raul. <laughs> Yeah. My souls hurted for like a month more later after oh. they came back. Yeah. Oh god. You you know, I you already know I did like my first intro was like 17 days of walking every single day. Uh my my feet hurt for like three days afterwards. So I have no idea how that is. And uh, The fact that I can't imagine it worries me even more, but like... Then it must have been really bad, I don't know. It, it, it was really bad on my end. The shoes I had was... It, it, it's all style and no comfort. <laughs> God. That's, that's the thing, that's why I can't, I can't buy shoes. Like, you, you've seen me, I've, I've been wearing the same pair of shoes for seven years now. And uh, at this point, they are they are starting to break down because you know mm. rock climbing with those shoes was not a good idea. Oh, in in, in uh, Greece, you rock climbing with uh, those shoes? Yeah, kinda. I was more like on the seas. I was like, it was really sharp, and that actually ruined the shoes. Oh, I see. So, okay, <laughs> that's just it's all. That's all. It's not because it's made of rubber, but I can't remake the rubber part. Cost less mm -hmm. to buy new shoes, but I can't find new shoes, so I got to the point like, yep, that? I just got a commission, a shoemaker. That's the only solution at this point. In eight years, I've been looking for shoes, it's the time to do this. I think it's cheaper to just go to a shoemaker. Yeah, because I always say, like, okay, Vans again. Vans cost 80 euros. If, and Vans lasts one year. If shoes I make are last eight years, I can afford 80 times eight which is 640 euros. That's probably the price a shoemaker gives me for shoes made from mm. scratch. In Italy, which is famous for making shoes, by the way. So like, yeah, I think that's the only solution at this point. <laughs> also, yeah, you can see I run a company at this point. Like even shoes, like, yeah, the investment on shoes matters. <laughs> But yeah, absolutely don't buy Adidas because that's expensive and it lasts only one year and you're kind of screwed up because you need to buy again. Mm -hmm. At this point, I like, okay, I don't like that I too, but at this point, even off brand shoes are just okay. No, no, most people won't care about it unless they yeah, really definitely. look about it. Just find shoes like, that are most comfortable for you. Uh, I yeah. I bought a like my running shoes are off brand because I don't I really don't care. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, it's the same color. Card. I didn't even <laughs> do that. A anyway, <clears throat> so 
So yeah, okay. I'm mentioning brands right now just so people have an idea. Because if <laughs> I say, oh yeah, derby shoes, like what is a derby? What's an Oxford? <laughs> yeah. Hey, anyways, uh, tip, tip to you guys. Don't, don't, don't be shy to buy off-brand shoes. Um, I think my off-brands actually lasted like three years more than my Skechers. <laughs> <laughs> and they're yeah. the same type. Like the no shoelace ones that's easy to slip on and then like comfy at the base of the foot. Uh, yeah. I actually bought my like all my all my shoes are actually dying and I'm literally left with the shoes I got from Singapore. <laughs> so, um, oh. so I bought two new shoes today and they're very comfy. Speaking of, I'm still using the, the slippers I bought in Singapore. Hey, it's still very comfy. They just became my default slippers because they're they're nicer than the others <laughs> I had before. I need to buy myself a new set. Uh, I'm currently stuck with uh, the Crocs that my my sister gave me. Like as much as also, Crocs are nice, uh, I feel embarrassed wearing them going outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. As an European, I cannot stand that. Though I keep seeing that increase. Actually, you know, I was in Milan the other day. Yeah, of course, every single Asian person was like, "Yeah, Crocs." Ah. I feel like I'm back in Singapore. Oh. Like, sandals are fine. Crocs are yeah. not. Yeah. I, it suits I, I a specific buy myself sandals. style. And I respect mm-hmm. it. But it's a specific mm-hmm. style. Yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, speaking of accessories. I eventually found some good gloves in, at my house. So whenever I whenever I go visit Dramis, I can play a cabinet with like a pro- professional looking <laughs> gloves, you know. Hey. <laughs> so yeah, that's yeah. nice. Nobody was using that because it's not cold enough in Rome anyway. Daniel, you're committing a crime. What do you mean? You're German, that's it. Oh, it's not a crime. <laughs> White socks and sandals. Um, I, it, that's just being German. Yeah, that's just, just being German. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I have a couple of friends that just wear wear the same fit. It's it. I don't wear Crocs or sandals with socks. I think if you really want to look okay with Crocs, you would definitely need at least some socks. In sports mode, okay. Or 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 you wear a bathrobe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, consider this. Consider programmer socks and Crocs, like the the brownish black Croc type of you know. Oh, brownish black. Like the basic Croc, and then programmer socks. Maybe. Maybe I don't know. It feels weird. Feels very cursed to me. Very. Yeah. Very cursed. Okay. Distracted. Actually, I think this is enough colors. They have the oranges. No, I do not have the boxes. It's boxes. Well, let me check more of the. Ch- <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to go a little bit back. Oh yeah, the fact that my resolution dropped randomly. Okay... Da, da, da. Person Indeed. says, Some, Someone once told me you can tell where someone's been by the type of shoes they wear. Well, I suppose I'm always like at a, at the ceremony. No, well, but no, you I... can tell a lot about the character of a person from their shoes. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, you can tell how much they value their comfort and practicality, that's for sure. I you 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 could tell like if you if you seen my like actual shoes, you could tell that I like speed and walk a lot and I do parkour. Mm-hmm. 
there 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 needs to be a grip in my shoes uh, actually that's the thing i want in my next shoes if i can get to design them that's like please make the same i had before but with a lot more advanced uh you know all parts on the bottom like rubber but not just basic rubber it has to be durable mm. it has to be suitable for climbing <laughs> Because I don't know where this thing is going. Mm-hmm. But I need to be bred. Yeah. Wait, watch me start a fashion company. Really? If they're leading on something? I didn't mean by that. Like leaning on a wall? Ooh. Sandals and white socks is the German tourist fit, and I hate how accurate that's it. I don't own sandals or white socks. <laughs> uh, do, do we include uh, the gray jacket and the black satchel? <laughs> <laughs> that's just Liam from uh, the YouTube, that's YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love Tano, I love it. I learned about m- more, more, more German culture than I have in my life. And I it's, it's actually pretty accurate, you know. I think it's like British, so yeah. And also, yeah, I've been, I've been in Germany many times. Like, yeah, it's pretty accurate. I did feel the anxiety of somebody wanting my empty bottle of water, so they can throw it and get. Uh, a discount. <laughs> Which is, you know, amazing. Uh, Secretly, uh, the, the Disco Elysium is Germany. Because you can throw, um, you know, water caps there. Like, okay, so a little fun fact about... Uh, a, little, a little fun fact. Uh, it's because of Liam. Uh, I got to learn about the concept of Luften, and I looked it up, and it's like, why, why do Germans do Luften? And now I do Luften. What's Luften? <laughs> it's basically like letting the breeze out so it won't, uh, letting the, like, fresh air in and humidity out, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, at some point... I would actively think about that a lot because you know when in class imagine like you're in a classroom there's mm-hmm. 30 people in that classroom a whole hour a whole hour with 30 people plus one 31 because of the professor you can feel that the air got a lot worse mm-hmm. actually it might open right now because it's been closed everything is being closed for two hours now and I do feel like a little fatigue and that's not because I'm talking, but probably because of the air is stagnant. Mm-hmm. I have my window open right now for exactly the same reason. There, are, there are also a ton of people who just throw it away. Okay, like if uh, if I uh, go to Germany, I would definitely go to a bottle collector for sure. Um. I, I don't want to throw away my bottles. I, I tend to recycle them well. Um, there, there was a point where I had a lot of glass bottles, so I got like these, like, like tray for glass bottles, and then I send them to the recycling place. I'm pretty good at like recycling. And that's what I do. Is this over? I see you've been wonderful today, by the way. And could y- y'all y'all good in the chat? The the only one that mostly stumps me every time when I do uh when I do recycling. It's, it's mostly batteries. Uh, and I'm glad that 
the local mall started to add like, hey, oh, dump your electronics and batteries here. It's like, okay, cool. Uh, I had power banks that literally cannot hold a charge anymore. So that's where I threw them. I'm wonderful? Can't believe. I can't believe my chat is betraying me. I'm saying I'm wonderful. I'm kidding. Thank you. Thank you for your comment. A resolution of this. <laughs> okay. Quick question for everyone who is here. What's your favorite part about your culture? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Have a good conversation today. Let's move we'll on. Favorite thing about the culture of your nationality? Stuff. I think here it's like a sense of family. I suppose, like, despite being, it may not be in terms, but people here like let let people be, being, who they want to be anyway. I think the only one that really is like more controlling is like very very select people kind of thing. say the food would be here <laughs> okay maybe except the like the fact that there's rice meals and cheap food and the lovely fruit and stuff food 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 yeah dozen of sausages <laughs> that makes sense okay i'm back yeah. hey welcome hello, back hello. i have a question for you rafi uh raul rafi not raul. rafi specifically uh, to you, Raul, specifically. <laughs> All right, what do you like about your culture? Oh, that's that's a bit. Thank yes. you, Harrison. Uh, how would I said the culture? Like, fuck, that's that's the question. I can't reply to aggression really. Okay, <laughs> of course, the first thing that comes to my mind is, is food. Like, it's, <laughs> it's not even a sort of thing. It's like literally, I think about food a lot. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, no, okay. If I w if I were was to go like uh, more more in specific and like I I, I don't know. I, especially after traveling, I I enjoy the how everything seems relatively easy in here. Like I think that's Europe rules. in general, though. <laughs> like, there's rules, but you're not forced to f uh, follow them. Mm -hmm. You can just go off being somewhat reasonable, and uh, like like the the simple thing like you can break you can I can't I shouldn't say this very out loud, but you can break uh, road rules in front of police and get away with it if it's something that people do a lot of time. You know? oh. that, that that sort of deal. So it, it it's not that specific. Like that's the thing that comes to my mind right now. Like. Things are relatively easy if you just yeah. uh, if you've seen other people do it and like yeah it's, it doesn't feel off doesn't look off in the setting mm -hmm. you're not reminded of rules all the time if you break a rule by mistake that's fine you probably didn't know mm -hmm. or you probably didn't realize which is not how I felt your money. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, no, no, that's not how I felt in the in Netherlands. Specifically. <laughs> uh, also, you're constantly like so close to some 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 beautiful place. The only thing it takes is like 50 minutes ride with your car. Of course, you do, you need a car. That's the, the, that's the thing. You know, like yeah, you can just go there if you have free time. Ah, so... I think I know what I like about my culture. I was thinking about it. I was saying it's like a sense of family. No, not really. No. Uh how basically resourceful every family is here uh oh yeah definitely from the little it, i saw definitely mm -hmm. and uh, the fact like they're not afraid to like even open up their shops their own shops if like you know most mm -hmm. i'm not sure most stuff is kind of negative taking away places with towels being drunkards and beer. <laughs> huh? german germany <laughs> I guess. Hmm. Besides the food, the times we gather for to prep for everything together, wedding, sacrifice, food. Yeah. Also, the thing about... I was saying. Yeah. You you you. First. The thing I was. The thing I was saying about food is like I I think I said it before in streams. So like yeah, I on a mean easy example. I do most of my meet my most important meetings by having lunch with somebody. And I do meet my friends by having lunch or dinner with them. If I meet them for an ice cream is a thing, if I meet them for lunch is much more important and much more valuable for both of us. So mm -hmm. food is always like the centerpiece of every relationship you have in life, in Italy at least. <clears throat> and you talk, you absolutely talk a lot and you are very slow at eating. Yeah, that's, that's also a thing. Mm -hmm. So it's standard, like, oh, I'm going to a restaurant, that means two hours and a half staying there, probably. <clears throat> if it's, you know, a, pro a proper meeting with a friend, and multiple friends, I mean. Here, it's absolutely the same when it comes to uh, with talking, unless there's a big unless there. You know uh -huh. that the person has somewhere else to go, and so oh, do you. Yeah. Like, yeah. And and uh, and also including um, it's not just for work reasons. It's also like for giving the other person like uh, personal space <laughs> and a deal. It's mm -hmm. like if if they really want somewhere else to go, and you could pick up on that, then you'd like. Yeah, let's keep it short, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that's also very common for me. Well, I guess it's specifically where I come from because you know I come from the business city of the country. So even more like meeting for thirty minutes uh, as we eat a slice of pizza is pretty typical for a sandwich. Mm -hmm. And that might be the only time you meet a friend a month because you're both super busy. Yeah. Oh, also, yeah, the other thing I love, more than culture, more like more of the country, there's food everywhere. There's food things literally everywhere, especially breakfast thing stuff. I think that's like a really so actually, good culture between like, mm -hmm. at least what I've noticed, like Italy and Asian countries. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I say that, you know, the biggest, uh, the biggest uh, foreign communities in Italy are uh, Egypt. Ch uh, China and the Philippines oh. and Romania but Romania because oh, Romania. similar language yeah but outside of Europe like yeah those are the three <laughs> like, okay and means... yeah <clears throat> and I suppose and... it's mostly because of the similarities in culture that I mean, Italians yeah. don't realize it because Italians have never been to China or the Philippines <laughs> <laughs> But I have a friend who's just been in China, actually. She spent four months studying there. And she did go for like, yeah, it felt familiar, in a way. The fact that everybody eats outside, often. Yeah. I love the variety. I love the variety. I'm not sure if I could do that with... Like, if I, if I end up, like, going to America, I think that's, like, the one of the biggest things I'll miss. 
<laughs> oh, for instance, that yeah, trade, two days ago, I ate at Five Guys for the first time in my life, because of course there's Five Guys in Milan, the only Five Guys of Italy. Uh, I liked it, but I liked it because I love fast food and I love fast food that's more expensive with better meat. But I like it like, oh, that's an, an additional thing, something I will go to once a month at max, you know? If I mm -hmm. knew that that was my only choice to have good meat, like, I would be depressed. <laughs> <laughs> I still Thanks. miss Jollibee though. I still miss Jollibee. Is it Jo- Wait, isn't there Jollibee? Yes, but I haven't gotten to go there with a friend. It's like two kilometers away from my home. That's too uh, much. Three, sorry, three kilometers away from my no. home. I don't have a car. Ah, <laughs> uh, fair. I haven't been in that neighborhood anytime in this, this month. That is very fair. What am I doing? Why am I using my my chalk brush on this? I need my actual straight brush. Jolly Bee. That that Jolly surprised me. <laughs> okay, like oh, oh. I actually like their uh their to their tofu tofu drinks. I actually ended up liking their tofu drinks. Still, that 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 got me bamboozled. It's like oh, it's Jolly Bee. Jolly Bee. <laughs> <laughs> That was like my first bamboozle in... <laughs> yeah, uh, and, and also that was the bamboozle like, on my mind, it was like, uh, not, I have, I have not slept, I slept little that past night, it was 9am to me. And then what we see together like Jolly Bean, while we're looking for Jolly Bean. Yeah. And also we did not get much sleep because of the long bus ride. Yeah. So we really felt like, are we reading this right, or...? <laughs> yeah, it, it turned out good in the end, <laughs> at least. Would love to explore more of Singapore. Yeah, I, honestly, I feel like I, I'm going to be back to Singapore at some point. I'm mm -hmm. almost sure of that, because uh, there's Game Connection Asia happens in Singapore. Ah. And uh, I'm realizing I might want to talk more to Asian companies in general. So, and also, if if I ever go to Tokyo Game Show, I would I will stay a, a couple of nights in Singapore. <laughs> you know, it's it's in the past anyway. Gosh, <laughs> I don't have anything specific. there to be honest, except seeing the city planning museum. I still want to see that. The Urban uh, Planning Museum. I wish I could travel more easily. Because, yeah. you know, uh, visa problems, be living visa, in the Philippines. Visa, costs, everything. Yeah. Being current, I, yeah. You know that I hate planes. I don't know if you believe me, but I hate planes. Eh, I think it's fair. <laughs> some, for some reason, I'm always tremendously tired while I'm on the, on the plane. I don't even want to watch a movie, but I'm t I'm also bored as a lot. So it's like dissatisfied by default most of the time. Someone a plane. Uh, meanwhile, me with planes are like I'm incredibly well prepared and I am good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I don't remember much about us being on a plane. On plane we were with on. I really don't remember anything from that from that trip. Why? I mean, I, th I think I just mostly rested. <laughs> yeah, it was like a four hours long flight, and uh, it was in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And there was a little bit of anxiety on my side because I always try to do as many things as possible, but. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, no, I don't remember much. I remember everything about the Clark Airport. <laughs> it's just the flight that we don't remember much. <laughs> I, don't remember, I remember absolutely everything. And how exiting the place means you can no longer enter it. That was really weird. And how it was perfectly the temperature I wished for. 
<laughs> but yeah, I, re I will never forget, I even remember the look of the boss and the fact that we checked two different bosses and then the one we needed was right in front of us, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the position of the bathroom and how far away it was from where we ate. Which is wild. That was still wild to yeah, me. Like, I, just, I just will never forget that airport specifically. I don't know <laughs> why. And then I for I mostly forgot the the bus ride as well. Wow. I I, I guess I it was kind of. I like, guess I don't remember rides, <laughs> Gerald. I think uh, I think it's more forgettable because we didn't take the main route. It wasn't the main yeah, route. Yeah, it was long. It was it was long and like uh. Yeah, we did not take the main route at all. Um, otherwise, we would have been there faster, and also remember, like there would be a wonderful view. I remember the few people entering and exiting uh, every now and then, like in the yeah. middle of the night. That struck, struck as very odd to me. Yeah. And then I took a bus in Italy two weeks later, like, oh yeah, it's the same thing, actually. <laughs> I just had never had a, you know, random bus sort of ride it's more of like uh I, I guess it's it's more of uh like you know in between cities or like uh -huh. villages that need the transport but the so the person might not route. be exactly at the bus stop but close to it so of course stops anyway mm -hmm. so, or, yeah. or a specific spot it was, it actually, it was very, very interesting. I don't know, for some reason. So, for you know, like, as I remember it, I I remember it as something romantic to me, but I don't know why. Fuck as romantic. Oh. I didn't take any picture, though. I didn't take any remarkable picture. But there's moments while I travel, especially at night, where the scenery feels romantic to me. Usually, I'm alone, though. But yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's like the beauty of seeing something new that I don't know. And it's not beautiful when it's itself, it's like remarkable. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know how to explain it really. It's just, but it's my favorite part, one of my favorite parts whenever I travel. When you see something new. And... Yeah. yeah, getting to see something new, getting to live something that you don't expect. And also, you will never see again in posted by somebody. Because again, it's not special. It's just normal life for people there. But mm -hmm. it's, I, don't, I don't know this, I, mean, I don't know this plan. It's just... Yeah, no, it's like... Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know how to explain it. I guess it's something about being at night. And being after <laughs> a long uh, flight as well, like... A lot of elements making everything feel more hazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Though I really like the the ride to Manila on, on a bus. I really <laughs> like that. Oh. Because that yeah. felt like a proper journey. Mm hmm. I felt like an adventure, especially the one stop we had. <laughs> yeah. I thought there was more! <laughs> Not just one in the middle of nowhere. There's normally two. That's why I'm surprised, actually. Oh. Normally there's two. It was really hot, was really we... hot and I was still wearing my sweater, somehow. Mm -hmm. That that was wild to me, honestly. Like the, the, the entire trip in Manila was a really good adventure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should do that with my friends someday again. Uh... Also, honestly, Manila felt like... Somehow, Manila was exactly the way I expected it. Like, I did not know what I was expecting, but it was exactly that. It was a big reverse culture shock for me. <laughs> yeah, you told me the whole time, like, holy shit, this place is actually livable now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, Manila Raneta, that felt really weird. Mm-hmm. That felt so weird to me. <laughs> it's like, why am I... <laughs> this is what I expect Los Angeles to look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Araneta. I think it's because it was inspired by Los Angeles. Makes sense. There we go. Also, speaking, speaking of fast food, in Manila I got to try basically every fast food ever. <laughs> yeah. I also tried the fast food that I didn't... I will never ever see in my life. Um, Arby? Uh, yeah, Arby's. <laughs> I forgot what Arby's felt like because it was so forgettable that I forgot it. Yeah. It's been two months. <laughs> Wendy's was like one that I like. I really like when during our trip, um, because like it was just simple pleasures. That's it. That, that's that's what Wendy's is for me. Simple pleasures. Nothing more. Nothing less. And then Taco Bell was both disappointing and good. I don't know. It was like, yeah, if I if I don't want to think was, about food. Yeah. I was thinking about like Taco Bell and how I was hyped up to be like, oh my stomach is gonna be burning and all of that. I was like, no, it's just it perfectly like healthy ch- here. <laughs> it was the legit chillest fast food experience I ever got. The people like, there were like my body did not feel anything. It was the equivalent of eating a sandwich with good ham in it. Not flavorful, but like ham that doesn't make you feel bad at all. Oh my god, the first. <laughs> what? This is a Halo reference. Old food lab. All right. Now we could no, uh, there's switch one thing, back to... There's one thing I very much miss, and it's um, choking. Choking? Yeah. Choking. I miss it, because I, I cannot get it here. But I like the simple approach on, you know, Chinese food. Because I, I like Chinese food. But if I go to a Chinese place here in Italy, it's going to be a lot more fancy and a lot more... Pretending to be cool, but like you know, I just like the simple stuff there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Actually, really much more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because like, if I go to a Chinese place in Italy, it's probably like it's like a sushi place but Chinese. Uh, or if I go to a ramen place, yeah, it's just ramen, of course. But I want the whole deal, you know. <laughs> Which is just like what I got from from Jollibee. I got typical uh, the name again. Uh, besides rice, what what the, everything was like um, mushroom soup. I like the mushroom soup at Jollibee. Oh, I will never yeah. get it again in Italy. <laughs> Not that sort of. That's true. So, like some select products are not gonna be there. Uh. Yeah, I didn't even actually. I didn't even actually think of that. Hmm. Let me check on Google. Oh, okay. It's by the Jollibee Corporation, too. I don't know if it's yep. spread to other countries. So I wrote it on Google Maps while being in Italy, and it just gave me the Pacific Ocean. Oh. Like I'm sending you a screenshot. Like. Okay. Imagine oh, that I wrote while being in Italy, and this is the next frame after that. <laughs> oh god. It, it is. <laughs> like, it's literally it just the a globe. Right. <laughs> it's specifically in... Uh, in Manila, a lot of them in Manila. A bunch in like... Uh, Cebu, one in Cebu. One in Davao, not in Cebu, Davao. And then, one in Los Angeles, and one in San Diego. Really? Yeah, it's like... That was like a Philippine oh, thing. Okay, huh. okay, guess where, where else in the world there might be one more. Uh... Oh maybe? no, it's not choking, it's something with the same name. But oh. let's still pretend it's the same thing. Hmm... I have no idea. What's a place that might have 
people from the Philippines. Canada? Dubai. Oh, du oh yeah! Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah <laughs> Dubai. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I had a friend who works there, actually. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But they're Filipino. Anyway. This <laughs> one in Dubai. Why am I... What Why am I no, not surprised? It did not didn't look like the official thing, but it has the same name and this Chinese food, so like maybe it's like a copycat. They just imagine if it's like a Filipino who just missed it so much that they copied it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very funny though. Yeah. I mean I I already I think I already told you that my the, the famous pizzeria of Milan is present around the world, but not the rest of Italy. So, actually, I think it might be close to you somewhat. Oh. Um, Spontini, Spontini. I mean, close, relatively speaking, like... Spontini, around the world, let me please keep it up. Like this. A flat wall becomes something. <laughs> oh yeah, there's one in Doha, the capital of Qatar. There's one four in Seoul. One in Tokyo. No, there's nothing in the Philippines or the one. Ah. Uh... And then there's like twenty in Milan. And zero in Italy. Very specifically, only in Milan. Only Milan. And the airport of Milan. One in the and airport the of airport Milan. Milan. Which is quarter away. I find that really funny. Yeah, unfortunately, people from the rest of the country don't want it anyway. Oh. People from Milan who move to elsewhere in the country miss it. So really, it is the Jollibee situation, except Jollibee is loved by everybody who ever went there, apparently. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm not looking at the chat. Okay, Parson saying that Asian food is more expensive, that feels more... Yeah, that, that would make sense if my reference would not be Italian food. You know, pizza is cheap. Pizza is literally the cheapest thing you buy all the time. Mm -hmm. Ordering a pizza and eating it at home costs like... If, if I want gross. to actually get it, actually Italian pizza, they do exist here. You, you know, like... I, I didn't take you there, but like it's pizza, it's pizza volante. Actually, run by an Italian <laughs> man. Yeah, like I, I'm, I'm sure that some real pizza exists because again, there's so many people from the Philippines in Italy, so they eventually come back and make a pizza in the, <laughs> the, the, the good way, you know. Mm -hmm, the good way. And then there's the fast food one. We don't talk about the pizza. <laughs> I ate one pizza hut, and that was a cake. That wasn't a pizza. Mm -hmm. That felt However, like a cake. Yeah. I just went there for the for, for, for the mushroom soup, not gonna lie. Yeah, that was actually pretty good, again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was not impressed by Pizza Hut. So, um... With, uh... With Pizza Hut, like, the... The, the one in Manila actually gave me the clue that I was missing. Because they very specifically said chicken mushroom soup, not just mushroom soup. It wasn't just mushroom oh. soup. It was chicken mushroom soup. So like, okay, now I know what I was missing. <laughs> and I could actually replicate the mushroom soup at my home. And I'm right. happy. Very nice, yeah. So you did, I, I added a chicken bouillon cube. It's like, oh, it got so close. Maybe need a little bit of butter. Also, me going back to Bologna next week means I can get my favorite cheap pizza again. 
Oh. Three euros. Three euros for pizza. That's actually, you know, in line with the prices of food in the Philippines at this point. Mm -hmm. Because a pizza is enough for a whole dinner. And uh, three euros in pesos. Uh, in that's uh, uh, two hundred pesos. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But that, that's like the, the absolute cheapest thing. That's a full dinner. I mean, actually, I found it at two euro fifty, but I started doubting that was real pizza. So yeah, the cheapest thing that does not inflict damage to my body. Huh. Otherwise, you can. Otherwise, you can just make it yourself a set. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm starting to reach my limit here, but you guys could see that it's slowly coming together. Me, me rubbing my hands together. Just to say, it's all coming together. <laughs> I'm just gonna get the base colors on some of the of the wall objects over here and then I'll do the do some of the objects uh, outside of stream. Okay, so you guys get to see and anticipate what it actually looks like and you'll be surprised how actually close it is to the concept art. And it's always a fun thing to see like the concept art come to life. Like the one of the most exciting things I've ever done. For job cyclists, you know? Very nice. <laughs> I wonder, do I have anything else on the chat? From the past chat, the, the people watching, from the past month? Good question. Because honestly, I've been, I've been just working a lot, but on things. Uh, I mean, I, I was in Florence. That was nice. I did not get to see Florence. That's like, I keep not getting to see Florence. I keep going there and not being able to see anything because I'm there for business. But I'm coming back there in three days. Oh. Again, because the friend, sorry, the friend of mine is landing on on that airport. Ah. Uh, oh, actually, I found out that the airport of, of Florence is super cool. It's like a small airport next to a mountain, so it's like not much used. Only used for like cheap flights. It's only got one run, one small runway. That kind of airport, you know. Oh. Okay. But. It's very close to the city. It's 20 minutes by tram to the city. Oh. Okay. And like, and the price of the tram is not increased. Just a normal tram. It happens to also go to the airport as the last stop. Oh. And the road felt like it was very much planned for it. So it's got exclusivity on the road for most of the time. It's like, that feels like a dream come true to me. Because you both get to see outside and go to the airport. I think Prague also did it. I was there once. But but yeah, cool. Cool. We just get to pay like a euro fifty. I don't have to take a taxi. Like, love it. Mm. Probably taxi people are not happy. The taxis are themselves are not happy at all. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Classic. But yeah, that day I'll get to see the I get to see Florence, I get to see a, new, a, a museum. Be Besides curious. the famous Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Like the Fine Arts Museum. Which is not the super famous one, so I expect to go to it there. <laughs> Mm 
It's that time of, it's that time of the night where things get quiet. Honestly, I just fair. Only because you know this time usually way dark in most mm. of streams of the year. Not this time, not for this month or next one. Oh yeah, Raul. Remember that like one noisy car that just tends to like run through even though it's the middle of the night? Yes. I think they got reprimanded already. Got what? They, they got reprimanded about the noise oh. complaints and stuff. Wow. <laughs> so now it's very silent now, which is a good thing. Yeah, that could sleep soundly. As usual, I almost never noticed it because uh, I sleep soundly. <laughs> I do. I do. A bit. Oh. What am I doing? I was looking at the wrong win. I was on the wrong window, doing the commands in the wrong window. Once again, it's rating. So. Oh. And you can see me. Oh. Wrong Gosh. color. For this. How does it feel like being in an Xbox 360 connection? <laughs> Pressed. Pressed. Compressed. Uh, <clears throat> I not have a color match for this. No, I did not. part of the room also already colored and I think you guys could get the process of this happening already let's, let's do the billboard one more that's one that's one for the stream wrap this and make this basically the size of this Hide this and select all of this. Make this scale to zero. Put on the red area. Double check the reference just to make sure. Checking. Oh, apparently, fifty percent of the country. Oh, okay. Oh. Really? Twenty-eight million people are. Uh, traveling by car in Italy out of 60 oh. to go on vacation. 
So the highway is full. The highway is full. Dang. <laughs> yeah, every single year. Same three weeks of the year. In fact, Dramis is also going on vacation next week. Oh. And I'm kind of having a vacation next week, so... And I did not beat the allegations, I guess. I am <laughs> Italian after all. Yeah, I go Italian on vacation after all. in the end of July and mid-August. Uh, <laughs> also, why Gamescom feels like feels terrible? Because it's just right during uh, the Italian vacations. Mm. <clears throat> so every Italian game dev company needs to every single year. <laughs> I guess. Also, yeah, I agree with Farsan. I find it very funny that I get compressed visually, but not out audially, vocally. Uh, add, I add VST Bit crush. <laughs> 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 you have some sort uh, of rhythm checking the real pixel count on me and then <laughs> take that to the the crush effect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that's what I'll do for now. But you guys get the idea. Made a made a palette for the entire room. Slowly color each one. And all the textures is for all the textured area. Eventually, this is this itself will become a full room, and you can already see it from here that it's starting to look like the concept art more and more, even like the flat shading and everything. Yeah. Thanks for fetching the stream. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for fetching the stream. Wow. The, the, I admit, that was a good one. That got me. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching. We're all go we're both going to rest now. You all take care. Yep. Uh, let's see. Who's take you guys over? Uh... I think I'll just take you guys to a what a person named Sunny XD. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all take care. Yeah. Enjoy enjoy the next stream. The next streamer. <laughs> Ooh, next one. See you next one. Bye. Ooh. Thank you.